guys welcome to move compromise guys in this episode we are going to look at the iphone se does it worth it to buy the iphone se in 2018 now in this episode we are going to find it yeah guys first of all starting with the design the iphone se has a metal body with a glass around it edges and with a glass front and metal sides yeah guys as you can see it has a beautiful display of 4 inches where it comes with a retina display of uh, iphone 5s the technology all the way from iphone 5s this phone has the components of means uh, internals of the iphone 6s and uh, if you want to buy an iphone 6s in a smaller screen then this is the phone for you yeah this phone as you can see has a good display and the brightness of the display is very light even in bright sun yeah guys as you can see the back of the phone it has a good apple logo and a good camera on coming on the front we have a earpiece a camera and a fingerprint sensor mounted on the front running this phone my phone is on ios 10 but you can update it to ios 11 yeah guys as you can see the iphone branding and the sides speaker grills headphone jack and other sides and as you can see now talking about the camera it has a 12 megapixel camera the same in the iphone 6s with the dual tone flash yeah guys as you can see we have the power button up here and uh, on the side we have volume keys yeah guys if these are the some photos i take fr from iphone as yeah, as you can see they look beautiful and even in very low light yeah as you can see here we have yeah as you can see we have another photo of taken from the iphone sc and it looks awesome yeah guys as you can see the color and here we can see that the iphone 5s photos are taken from iphone 5s yeah guys as we can see we have a beautiful glass pack the f this phone comes with the a9 processor the same in the iphone 6s and uh, it handles games very well i will show you later in this video yeah this phone has a uh, means this one has a gorilla gl glass 4 on it and uh, also known as dual ion glass by apple this phone uh, have all the internal of the iphone 6s as you can see it has a good fingerprint sensor but it don't have second generation fingerprint sensor it only have the first generation fingerprint sensor and it also don't have a 3d touch the force touch in ios in the iphone 6 yeah guys now we are gonna play a game on it so we can test the how it's gaming gaming it has it come with the apple apple a9 chip and it runs like a beast it runs games like a beast yeah guys as you can see now wait a minute yeah now coming here now i will sh gonna play the uh, game on this phone yeah as you can see it plays the games very well even it can handle games like pubg or fortnite but you can't play fortnite on it as it has only one gb of ram as you can see e8 com comes with a beautiful four inch of display i am playing my youtube videos so that you can check the its means video quality yeah as you can see i it is running 180p with easily with its a11 chip yeah as you guys can see now coming to my channel if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel it is in the down below it will be known as mob computers yeah guys if you are means want to buy a phone with good internals just like the iphone 6 internals but you want a small display like the iphone 5 then this is the combination of the iphone 5s and iphone 6s if you want to buy this phone in 2018 you can buy it if you have a tight budget means it can be it will be updated in after two years means apple has four or five years of update it will also run ios 13 14 the next ios updates yeah guys if you enjoyed the video then give a like share and subscribe to my channel yeah guys thanks for watching peace out